Tomo News presents Prison. Man caught smuggling items into prison with a fishing line. A British man and his 26 year old girlfriend have been caught attempting to smuggle several items, including a McDonald's McMuffin, into Wormwood Scrubs, a men's prison in London. Carl Jensen and his girlfriend, Lisa Mary Hutchinson, eschewed typical forms of covert communication, i.e., carrier pigeons, and decided to get a little more creative. The couple loaded a wash bag with various drugs, a bottle of vodka, a mobile phone, SIM cards, USB chargers, and a smartwatch, as well as a knife, a Kinder Surprise Egg, and two McDonald's McMuffins. Jensen then attached the thoughtful care package onto a fishing line and stood around while appearing to be on his cell phone as his buddy in the prison reeled it in. The transaction quickly came to the attention of the guards, who were quick to locate the items in a prison cell and foil any devious plans, as well as perhaps one man's enjoyment of his McMuffin meal. Jensen and his girlfriend were caught in an alley near the prison. Jensen has been sentenced to jail for two and a half years while his girlfriend was given a 12-month community order. Convicted murderer attacks guard, escapes from Illinois jail. Police in Illinois are hunting for a convicted murderer who escaped from prison on Wednesday after he overpowered a correctional officer and took his keys and uniform. Cameron Taylor, who was recently convicted of murder and was awaiting sentencing, overpowered a jail guard at the Jerome Combs Detention Center in Kankakee, Illinois at around 3 a.m. on Wednesday. Taylor took the correctional officer's keys and uniform and stole his brown 2012 Chevrolet Equinox. The public is asked to call 911 if they see Taylor or the vehicle. Taylor is considered armed and dangerous and is described as a black male standing at 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighing 170 pounds. The Kankakee County Sheriff is offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to the capture of the escaped inmate. Is locking prisoners up enough to rehabilitate them, or does more have to be done? While the United States continues to discuss ways to reform the nation's justice system, some have put thought into how to transform its very architecture. During a workshop in a San Francisco prison, inmates were asked to reimagine their jail cells. Like the Freedom Room design project in Italy, inmates took the average 3 by 4 meter long prison cell and created a new type of living space for the incarcerated. The room includes cabinets for personal items as well as an enclosed bathroom to give prisoners some privacy. Inmates have also proposed building waterfalls, computer labs, and a healing center in prisons. A design idea called Prize School incorporates an urban prison in Brooklyn, New York with a school of criminology, a pre-release center, and a community center. The complex will merge areas of the prison with facilities used by students at the school as well as by members of the outside community. Some of you may wonder why nicer living quarters would actually help rehabilitate a person, or if inmates even deserve it. The concept follows a model used in countries such as Sweden and Norway. There, incarcerated individuals live in better conditions than in the U.S. But why do this for a convicted felon? While well, currently nearly 70% of state prisoners re-offend after leaving their incarceration. In Sweden, that figure is around 40%. So the idea is that there will be a lower overall crime rate as rehabilitated prisoners won't re-offend and will successfully re-enter society. But what do you think? Is it as simple as locking convicts up in a cell and throwing away the key? Or is there a better way? Dramatic video shows Quebec Prison Break 2013. This video was filmed by prison guards in 2013, when two inmates, Benjamin Houdon Barbeau and Danny Provencal, escaped from St. Jerome Detention Center near Montreal. Houdon Barbeau and Provencal coordinated their escape with two accomplices via text messages on smuggled cell phones in the prison. The accomplices hijacked a helicopter and forced its pilot to land on the roof of the prison at gunpoint. In the video, the two inmates seem to be having troubles climbing onto the roof. The chopper then lifts off with the two escapees dangling from the rope and eventually carries them outside the prison.
The four suspects then forced the pilot to land in a parking lot some 40 kilometers from the prison before boarding a getaway car. Hours later, the four were arrested and the pilot was found unharmed. Inmates use pillow bodies to escape UK prison. In a scene straight out of a movie, two men broke out of a North London prison after fooling prison guards with a decoy. On the night of the escape, the resourceful pair had arranged pillows around their beds to make them look like bodies. They then used diamond-tipped cutting equipment to saw through their cell bars. After climbing out the window, the two reportedly used bed sheets to lower themselves down, eventually scaling the perimeter wall to freedom. It took a while, but guards eventually discovered the pair missing around noon the next day. Police are on a manhunt for the fugitives, who have both been described as dangerous. Police are searching for four inmates who escaped from Caddo County Detention Center early on Sunday morning. The inmates reportedly kept their clothes on and escaped through a maintenance hatch in the shower. After reaching a wall at the end of the ceiling crawl space, they kicked out cement blocks to enter a room on the other side. Then, they simply opened a door and walked out. The sheriff received a phone call at around 2.30 in the morning, alerting him to the fact that men wearing orange jumpsuits were seen outside the prison. A head count revealed that a few prisoners were indeed missing. These prisoners have been identified as Dylan Ray Three Irons, Prime Tawan Brown, Anthony James Mendonca, and Tristan Cheadle. All four were sentenced for unrelated crimes ranging from carrying a concealed weapon to robbery and second-degree burglary. Well, now they can add escaping prison to their rap sheets. A Russian hitman and arms dealer broke out of a Moscow prison using just a spoon. Or so police think. In any case, the slim 33-year-old crook, Oleg Topolov, managed to break through the ceiling of his cell he shared with seven others then get into the ventilation system. He crawled through the vents and ended up on the roof of the two-story prison block. He then hopped from the roof to a fence and slipped away on a rope. The agile criminal was due to appear in court soon on charges of murder and illegal arms trafficking.